Man, Jay is hooked on it. We've been tearing the fish up, and I got her back like when we were on Grand Isle. Man, she wants to just fish every day. It's crazy. When we catch it, I want to fish. She's hooked like like a crackhead, man. So we're going out. The tide is real, real low right now, extremely low, and it's not as strong as it has been the last few trips, but uh, we're going to give it a shot anyway, and we, it's about almost 9 o'clock, so we're going late for a reason. I don't like to fish the bottom of the tide. Y'all can see the rocks behind me at the launch. I raised my motor even at this launch just to make sure I got that jack plate. Make sure you don't bump nothing. That's how low it is. But uh, I don't like to fish the bottom of the tide. I like it coming in and I like it at the top of the tide. So we're taking our time and I'm thinking it's going to be like 11 to 1, the best bike. When the tide's at the top, I think the top of the tide is 2 o'clock today. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. On We've never gone a weekend with too many people, but we're going. The conditions are almost identical to uh, the last trip. So we're going to head west and try to get a little protection over there. <laughs> it's bumping as hell. So if you take that ride, you know that it's bumping from past Christiana all the way to uh, the Lake Bourne area and those rocks. It's, it's, a, it's a long ride. But there's so much area to fish when I was telling Jay in Mississippi. You know, it's... It's unbelievable how from Cat Island to all the Berry Islands to Lake Bourne to the artificial reefs, there's so many different places that hold fish. You just gotta find them and you gotta have some techniques and some good guidance to catch them. I just wanna talk about the, the, the conditions here. You know, when the wind, wind's blowing on the west, you wanna get where you're protected so you can pass. And I mean, we're casting into the wind right here, but. You can see behind me how calm it is right here. The wind's blowing strong about 12 miles an hour to west-northwest. So you want to get where you're protected because the bait's going to be there too. They don't want to be in the rough, rough water. So just saying on a west wind, this is probably the place to go. Take a little beating getting here, but uh, get yourself protected where the land's going to make it smooth for you to fish. She might be, I said, they might be further away from the rocks. So I threw out in the open. And that's where he was, man. See where I'm at right here. I'm throwing against the wind, but the land is protecting us from the waves. And the glass man has been out on the top, but I see him in here. So all the these rocks, well, you can get protected. And this is, this yeah. isn't our usual spot. Like not only this whole rock, it's a, this right. whole area you can catch fish at. They got a bunch of boats on that side too uh, of the of the sound. Everybody's gonna catch some fish. These fish spread out, they move all the time. So, you, you know, I can catch them pretty much anyway. You just gotta have the right bait and right get the right conditions. The free line, and, and I see people right with now. Think about it, okay? I'm tell you this a lot. A lot of people don't think about it. The tide's real, real low right now, and it's gonna come up. So, the fish are gonna be probably more away from the rocks because they got a little current coming from the marsh. They're just hanging out in the deeper water. We're gonna see. Look at that. Wow. Oh man, another treat, huh? It barely hooked. Oh, me. I love them flounders. Wow, look at the size of that thing. He ate that croaker. I felt that thump and I waited about three seconds to make sure he had his mouth just in case it was a flounder. Now that's a doormat. That's a doormat, baby. Way to go. me with that west wind. It's tough with that west wind. Oh, that big old trout. Look at that. That's a big old trout. Wow. That's a big old trout. I guess patience pays off. I was ready to throw in the towel. I told her there was fishy. I see him hitting on the top on the glass minnows. I said, you got to, with a west wind like this, it's not going to be every cast. You got to, you got to work for them and it's going to be later. And, That's uh, a big one. The tide's coming up right now. It's real, real low this morning. Uh, probably a lot of people didn't catch much early because of that low, low tide. I don't like that. It's shallow around those rocks. So as the tide comes up, it's going to get better. You're throwing uh, away from the rocks, really. Another one? Yeah, I threw in the deep water. You know, away from the rocks. That's where it seems to be. Really? That ain't no Lord. That ain't no gas doing that. Uh -uh. Might be a red though. He might have just woke 
up. But I think it's a big trial. I got that beat. I don't know why. Seems like you're fighting it pretty hard. Could be a fight. Yeah, we'll take it easy just in case it's a five or six pound trial. You know? It's either a red or a trial. Well, I'm waiting fish, for the fish to come up. Yeah, well, if you don't see them, then you, you gotta, they want to see us pull them in. That's a red. Uh, it's a red. It's a golden red. I don't like red fish. Yeah, they're not going to see them. Well, he came in and he acted like a, a trout because he was coming. Swimming. Swimming. Getting some action though, it's about time. Well, I'm ready for my wife to get a to get a fish on. It's full love right now. Who's keeping track? <laughs> they finally got one, boy. See if she can hang on. Set the drag for her. Drag was too tight. She kept bumping it, I guess, all the times we fished, and uh, them reds been popping it. I said, "Give me that." I said it. This might be an eater. She might be able to eat him. Them reds are fun, man. When you you know. When nothing's happening, come back here. When nothing's happening, they're fun. Pretty, 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 pretty red fish, man. Good stuff in that green water. He's about 26, 27, probably a bull. All right, let me come on the hook him for you. Good stuff right there, babe. Looks like we found the red fish right here. Nasty west wind ain't stopping them old greedy red fish from eating. Looks like we're catching them like, see I'm here that crab trap right there? Probably about 30 yards off of the rocks. It seemed like they stay in more. Jay caught hers on the rocks last time. I caught two before I went in that deeper water right there. And a big trout, so we're going to release this boat. Them reds are stacked up, man. Try to get out this wind right here. I need to invent something for the iPhone uh, to put in the speaker with a little cotton or something in it. So y'all don't hear the wind. About 12, 15 mile an hour northwest wind, man. I guess we're fortunate to you take what God's going to give you. That's a bull right there. He's taking drag, so we're not going to watch this whole process. He's too big. We're going to release that one. Man, that's real a big old bull, friend. boy. That's a real bull right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but get him up to the top and come back and see, see the final final fight right here. That's a big one. Some people dream about catching a big old bull like this, you know? We get them all the time, so we, we don't get too excited unless we can. That's too big to eat for sure. Look at that. Wow, that's huge, babe. That's a monster. A three and a half foot long. <laughs> Golly, look like a shark out there. Let me go release that fish. Damn, that's beautiful. Big old, no, that's a trout. That's a trout. Right against the rock. She got her a trout. He ain't giant, but he's a, about 16, little eating size. Right. We made a little move. Got out of them. We got out of them redfish, man. The redfish. It was where we wanted to get, so we waited them out. They wore out. Of, I mean, we wore that spot. Them redfish were biting every cast. We had to get out of there. Once you find them reds, man. Mm-hmm. About 16. We'll fry him up. Man, I've been trying to catch some fly on the back of these rocks right here. But uh, we caught a little fly on them. A little eating size trap. We take what we can get, man. We pile them up. Slow but sure. We're doing it. About 16 inches, not as big as yet. Uh, the last couple trips, but pretty fish. Nasty north wind. Chaos right here, man. We, we couldn't hardly get the camera ready. Look, we got a double. We got a big, big old doormat and a heap of trout. Put it in here? Yeah, put them in there. How about that? We're almost out of bait. The wind's tearing us up, but we're getting ready. And the bites are going to be hooking up at the same time. We're running out of bait.
long boys. I don't even get tired of seeing them. I get tired of seeing wow. these long trout. God, dog, I got yeah. Shit, I can't even hold them. This west wind, they uh, it makes them trout not too aggressive. And uh, we, we've had a lot, a lot of misses where they put the bait in their mouth and they let it go. It's crazy, but when you're fishing a west wind, uh, I told y'all about that already. It makes it a lot more difficult. And and today is not a good. It's Saturday. It's not a good uh, tide day. And not a good moon phase day. If you look at the chart. There's one little fish at one feeding time. So we lucky to have the fish we got. We blessed. We thank the Lord for every one we got in the boat. Yeah. Got a big old trout on there. Big old trout. Look right there. He's getting ready to come up. He's pulling the drag. Look at him. You seen him? I know what it is. He's staying down, man. He's staying down. Might be a hard head. No, it's a trout. He's all up in your line. I'll tell you he's pulling the line. <gasps> Oh, gorgeous. You the man. You, when somebody else was in there, can you tell Well, I tried to grab the camera and I had a bite. I'll tell you to pick it up. She won't let the bite go for another big fish. <laughs> wow. Each man for himself. Good eating size trout. We're going to leave them biting here in a second. We only got a couple croakers left and and if we're pretty tired and... Uh, yeah, the bite was like what you said, the time. The so we got out here a lot earlier, and then we poop, I pooped. About 12 o'clock, that's when the bite, it seemed like uh, the tide, you know. Tide, uh, getting at the top from 12 to 2 is when it was topping out, and 2 o'clock was the top, then it starts dropping. Well, that took some a little grinding and work, but uh, it was on and off, you know, here and there. We moved away from the redfish because they were too abundant and big bulls. We take a couple redfish home, a few trout home, and a few more than big old doormats, baby. Very successful trip. Grand Slam, what they call that? Inshore Grand Slam again. Mississippi, you're doing good by me, baby. <laughs> me too. Tell your friends to subscribe to Tommy Beast's channel. We're going to catch them until they... Hit like, share, and leave a comment. Until they quit biting. You got to work for them, though, man, and you got to... Let the wind be your friend. I always remember that. I'm going to leave you with that. If it's a north wind, you're trying to get where you can throw downwind. It's almost impossible unless you could go behind the rocks like I did. But at least a side cast. Throwing in the wind is like pissing in the wind. You know what I'm saying? I think saying. it looks like natural to fish in the water. Right? Yeah, you got you to gotta throw downwind. Try to let the wind be your friend. We'll see you next time. Tommy D and Jay putting a flanking on in Mississippi.